So talking about uh, fly lining live bait out here out of San Diego, Southern California kind of thing, and just some thoughts before I go out here. So they're saying all over the map, a couple days ago, they were suggesting to bring, you know, like a huge rig, 80 to 100 pound rigs, because they were catching up to 200 pound bluefin. It sounds like it's kind of slacked off in the last couple days. Um, so now they're suggesting bringing a smaller 20 and 30 pound rig again. Um, I don't know what the bait is like, but so that's one of the things that I'm thinking about here as I try to figure out which rods I want to bring. Traditionally, I've always been a fan of using a two-speed reel with mono top shot. Now, what I consider mono top shot is if it's got if it's long enough to go through all the guides and that, then it's a top shot. It's a leader. If it's you know a short short section of fluoro, so I usually go mono. You know, some braid backing mono to, like I said, about a five, six foot liter of fluoro. Um, but so they're talking this year a lot. I ran into people who are saying just use braid to go through and then, you know, use braid, no mono, and connect um, the six foot liter directly to the braid. So I'm, I'm tossing around the idea with that. I think the first thing is um, I can definitely cast better if I use star drag reels there's no doubt about it so these guys here these are all on seeker rods i forget what uh this is like a 80 20 and a 196 or a 270h so these are i don't know from um i don't know. so i think this is 25 pound rod this is a max 30 pound rod um but again if i'm throwing mackerels or sardines i think that I can bring, uh, you know, lever drag, two-speed lever reel. These are easy to cast with the large, heavier baits. When you start getting them, they're probably about four ounces. I mean, some of those mackerel you get sometimes are huge, you know. But uh, anchovies are real small, and so that's why I'm thinking the star drags, because I just can't get the anchovies out with any of these reels. I've tried last year, and I've been stuck on the boat without these guys which i've used in the past and uh and it was just no fun trying to get the thing to swim away <clears throat> so that's the first consideration i'm bringing up is star drag or lever drag and then the next thing is that idea of using the braid to go directly to the leader um a couple a couple things there the idea is of course that braid is significantly thinner than um, the mono so it's easier for your small bait to pull that through the water and I agree with that um, The one thing I worry about is I also have heard and seen Mono slides very easily over other mono in the water So you've got everybody in the corner in a cluster and you've got Ten people with their rods going out a hundred yards you start reeling in your bait, and a lot of times the mono just slides over the other mono. You don't catch it. You know, you're still, you're going to, if you've got bait that's swimming around, it, you're still at some point going to snag other people. But uh, the mono definitely slides easier. <clears throat> what I've heard, and I've seen this before in the boat, is the knot where the mono and the braid transition. You get that those kind of little barrels or footballs, right, depending upon what kind of knot you tie. Um, I usually tie uni uni or um, uh, FG, but I don't tie FGs on the boat too much. But anyway, so you get that little barrel there. And I've seen that barrel come across and, you know, right before it gets to the leader, snag on somebody's line. And then you wind up pulling one line in and then you wind up, you know, pulling two in and you get, you know, stuck in those clusters. And so that's that's not good for anybody. Right. You want to maximize your, you know, bait time in the water. So I'm kind of torn. I think I'll give it a try tomorrow. Um, I'm sure with coronavirus, uh, you know, the boat's not going to be as crowded as it has been going on a one and a half day, I think, on the Pacifica. So, again, I'll look back at this and, and maybe try to see what uh, what I ultimately came with. But good luck fishing, everybody. Thanks.